Welcome to Seven Trumpets Prepper. Guys, it occurred to me that in over 10 years now doing YouTube that I have never really broke down cattle farming. And I thought it was really good that since I'd moved back to the farm that um, I would take in on a walkthrough of, you know, what it really boils down to at the base root, um, cattle farming. And I thought also today's a great day as that we just got a new bull um that to really break down the basics of what you need to start a herd and i apologize in the background if the dog keeps barking because jake is just not enthused with all the uh equipment and everything that's went on today so with that said i'm going to get started so i want to zoom in here and show you if i can that's our new bull today and we raise beef master cattle is what we raise here on this farm and so I thought I would start right here and forgive me if this is a little bit foggy too, guys. I tried to clean my camera lens from the job site. Um, there's really about four basic things you need is number one, dirt. <laughs> you need land. Um, and the averages on cattle and stuff like that, I, I, what I'll do is in the video description below, I'll try to drop you uh, some links to the agricultural information for that and everything. But if you have a whale, you know, the watering uh, units that you can get at the ag store, like the local co-op, Tractor Supply, Rural King, I think those are great to have for a paddock, um, you know, when it's separated, like for example, from the pond, um, you know, that, that at least still provides a consistent water source. Um, if you're gonna feed your cattle, be careful where that you get your grain from um, and et cetera from the milling place, uh, cause you, you don't wanna give them GMO corn, anything like that, all right? Uh, now, as far as grass and stuff like that goes, you know, there's, I'm not a big fan of spraying the field. These yellow things, I can't even think of it off the top of my head right now, but yearly, it's usually a thing that we have to spray, get rid of. Um, but now when it starts out with, uh, you know, a small herd, I think it's ideal for anybody that's getting into uh, beef producing. Start with, you know, four or five heifers and a bull. Um, this pen right here are ones that's going to be sent off beefed or go to customers directly um, and etc. Now the basics of it, uh, you know, for an acre of land, I, I, I really have about a cow an acre. That, that's honestly, I wouldn't have more than that. I, I'm just saying like they need a lot of land. This one issue also where people want to mix goats and sheep together. I think that's a bad no-no because the cows tear where the sheep and the goats will nibble and just right down to the nub. Um, I'm gonna take you down in a second, uh, show you one of the working barns. Um, you also need a working pen. We'll look at that in just a minute too, but like basics as far as paddock goes, you know, if like I said, if you're gonna have corn, other things to feed them, you know, the uh, I, I encourage you to have a unit like that. Also encourage to have the water. That's a great backup in case that your ponds get low. I'll zoom in and show you our new new friend on the farm right there. That's a new bull right there. Just getting integrated today. Like I said, uh, he's a little skittish right now because those others just like, oh, new person in the field, new person. Um, so anyway, we'll go out in the field. I'll show you the herd. Um, really, uh, I guess I maybe should start a series on just cattle producing. Um, I think that it's something that's great for prepping. Uh, to have meat on the hoof. Uh, keep in mind, folks, like that show Yellowstone, it ain't playing no games. We've had people try to cattle rustle right here in Tennessee. So, I mean, crazy stuff can happen. And, and you have to be serious about protecting this because this is an asset. This is an actual tangible asset. This is also food for your family. Um, so something to keep in mind. So we're gonna go down the field. We'll look at the herd. We'll look at um, some equipment that I think is good to have on a basic startup for beef producing and we'll go from there. Now, um, what you see right here, this is uh, another portion of the herd. We're going about right now grazing. Like I said, I would encourage you to have a lot of acreage if you're gonna have a lot of cattle. Uh, we'll head down where I'm going right now. I'm gonna go over some equipment that I think is just paramount at the basic. Uh, you really need to have a working shed. You need to have a working pen. And honestly, a covered working pen wouldn't be a bad thing so that also in inclement weather you can let them go in there and stay with the salt blocks and a round hay bale. We try to use a lot of round hay here um, at Squire Baler. You'll probably come across that easier on used equipment online than you will a round baler. And um, it's just a lot more work. And folks, there is nothing easy about beef producing, uh, especially when you have to give the little ones uh, the shots and stuff when they're first uh, 
you know, first come out, oh my goodness, and having to pull calves. There's, there's a lot goes into this. This is not for the faint of heart. Um, I'll just be very honest with you and very blunt. I've done this ever since I was a child. I'm going on 37 years of age, and I think raising cattle and producing tobacco was two of the roughest projects I've ever done in my life. But um, in the world we're living in right now, beef producing is definitely, I think, essential for preppers, homesteaders. Look at that beautiful boy right there. He's gonna do a good job on this farm. He don't know how good his life's about to be. Um, so anyway, let's step in here. I'm gonna get the fence down, guys, and we'll get this party started. So now really breaking this down um, right now while this is getting shifted around during springtime and getting ready for summer. Um, of course, we'll stack off hay, produce and everything. Um, a sprayer is a great tool to have for the farm. If you're gonna have a small farm, you can have a small ATB sprayer. Um, but it's really good for keeping the weeds and for keeping all the stuff out of the field. Uh, combines, or I'm sorry, not a combine. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, a, a hay tether, uh, important thing to have. Um, squire baler, uh, you know, like I said, you can get these pretty dirt cheap nowadays. Um, the, these are essential items for getting hay for the cattle. And like I said, maybe I'll just go into a deep series on this, but hay tether, hay baler like this is the bare bone basic stuff that i'm showing you right now right there is another example of hay tether right there all right and um a good tractor now you can get good used tractors this one was bought used great tractor and um i don't i don't encourage anybody to buy new farm implements i just don't especially in the market today the cost is absolutely insanity um just way off the hinges and so if you can find you some good old used equipment buy it. a lot of them uh, i encourage the uh, get the front end loader uh, you know the whole nine yards uh three point hitch on the back all right hydraulic drive all right this is definitely <laughs> core root you need for cattle producing okay um round baling uh, you get a round baler that's fine but i definitely encourage a square baler uh working shed there's a lot of incentives with the agricultural department that you can get to for um getting barns up getting working styles up getting uh feed uh units and maybe we can break that down in in agricultural videos moving forward um i'll, I'll definitely can cover that now that you know i'm spending a lot more time back at home in tennessee uh, in between construction. So we'll go we'll look at the working pen real quick next. Little video and a basic introduction to uh, beef cattle production, the essentials you'll need. Um, right here, a working pen, definitely paramount. Um, this was just recently built and constructed. Uh, we just worked our first uh, herd through this recently. Um, I really encourage you to get six by sixes and two by sixes as the uh, supports on the interior. That way they can't kick the boards off. They're kicking against the boards. But you can bring cattle in here with round bale, salt blocks, get them in here comfortable, and then work off what you need. Sift off the ones not needed there, and then sift off the others into your cattle hauler or head gate to uh, give them proper medication. Um, they do, through the agricultural department, have kickback incentives for stuff like this through the Department of Agriculture, that's my knowledge, um, and might still be some available. And of course, having a pond, that is uh, one other essential thing I encourage you to have. But I mean, long and short of it, guys, these are some of the basic things that if you're really serious about doing um, cattle production, these are some initial things that you definitely need to look at infrastructure-wise um, for setting up to uh, do beef cattle production. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, throughout the course of this spring and this summer, I will do more in-depth videos. Um, just hit me with questions, things that for those of you that are starting to actually build your properties or you have your properties and you're wanting to convert into, you know, raising beef cattle, um, 30 some years of, <laughs> of uh, practice at doing this. And my dad's a mas master beef master producer. Um, and got that certification thing and all that through UT University and shout out to my dad. So, I mean, like, uh, you know, I mean, it ain't like we're new to this. And if I can be a help to you guys, I'd be glad to. Uh, one thing about it is, is I would equate cattle to Bitcoin mining is that it's one of those things you can kind of set it and forget it, but you have to tweak it. If a fan goes out in a Bitcoin miner, you have to swap it out. 
if the cow needs a calf pulled, you're going to have to do some maintenance. <laughs> You might even have to call the vet and you might have to dig a hole and I hate to be sad and blunt like that But sometimes it happens um, There there is some general love and care that has to be given into this in the winter months Hay has to be put out regularly and it's cold outside. There is there. It, it, it's not it's not like you're getting a pet You're getting a product that you have to maintain you have to keep alive So just keep that in mind like there is a lot of time and sacrifice that has to be put in to running a farm and if you're going to raise beef cattle they're pretty low maintenance but there still is upkeep that has to be put into them regularly and then you've got to get feed you've got to mow your hay you've got to bale it you've got to put it up you've got to spray the weeds down you've got to keep the fences maintained there's a lot goes into it and so you know I, like i said it's been over a decade now i think that i've done this youtube channel and i've never really ever went in depth on cattle production and you know farming aspects i've talked a lot about prepping but not so much on the homestead side of things and so i thought today this is a great opportunity to start this next decade out um by showing you that guys so i hope you've enjoyed this video um, i'll be doing more as things progress in the future and we'll be looking at it more and um i'll try to just show you different segments of things different processes uh, step by step and uh, you know for those that want to get into the farm life i hope it's a help to you so as always guys till we see you again here at seven tribes prepper channel hope most high y'all baruch can keep you make his face shine upon you show you favor and give you shalom my friends in y'all